Theo Keith continues team coverage live in the west side with more on road conditions. Theo. Well, Eric, you know, we saw a lot of hard work out there, a lot of plows out there today, but take a look at this. This is what's happening on, 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 on the uh, rural roads. It is this is the light, fluffy snow that's basically being carried away by the wind across the farm fields and back out onto these roads. Drivers slipped and slid along the roads all day. This semi stayed upright but slowed traffic to a crawl on the belt line. Crews kept at it for three hours before clearing it up. It was hard to see with the snow blowing across county roads. Road crews were having to retrace their paths to clear up the drifts. There's already ice on these rural roads left over from Tuesday's rain and with the blowing and drifting that's got a lot of people worried about the morning commute. It's almost an instant replay of two weeks ago. Emergency management workers say driving will still be dangerous Thursday. They say have an emergency kit in your car. You think, oh, if I get in trouble, I'll just call 911 and someone's going to be here in 10 minutes. Well, it may take a lot longer than that. First responders are busy dealing with so many other incidents and accidents all over the place. You may have to kind of hunker down in your car and wait for help. All right, stay clear. Jordan Sap Coyazo says he's among the few enjoying the weather. He pulled an all-day shift pulling cars out of the snow. It's probably my 15th or more run. I stopped counting uh, this morning. He doesn't mind the extra hours and the extra money. Thursday's cold means dead batteries and more work and more people happy to see you. Thank you. All right, Thank so you yeah, so you're much. free to go. If you live in the city, the main problem is going to be the huge pile of snow that the plows have created in front of your driveway. A lot of uh, heavy snow from when the plows did come through. But if your commute takes you on rural roads in the morning, that's where you're going to have to watch out because of the heavy winds and, of course, these snow drifts. We turn now to Danica Lewis. She continues our storm team coverage live in the backyard patio with how the homeless are faring in all of this cold. Dan